My Family's Egg Farm by Katie Olthoff. My Family's Egg Farm, written by Katie Olthoff, designed by Jen Hinman, printed as a special project of Iowa Agriculture Literacy Foundation and the Iowa Egg Council. Hi, my name is Cole and this is my family's farm. We raise corn, soybeans, pigs, and chickens. Our chickens lay eggs that we collect and sell. These are different types of chickens and different types of chicken farms. Some chickens are raised for their meat. They are called broilers. Did you know that chickens are typically raised for three main purposes? Chickens raised to lay eggs are called layers. Layers are female chickens called hens. Chickens raised for their meat are called broilers. Broilers can be hens or roosters, which are male chickens. Chickens can also be raised for their feathers. Different species of chickens are better for each purpose. Some chickens are raised for their eggs. They're called layers. Our chickens are layers. The chickens raised on our farm are layers. They have been selected because they produce large eggs with thick shells. They also have excellent feed efficiency, which means they don't need a lot of food to produce eggs. Our chickens are all white and lay eggs with white shells. Brown chickens will lay eggs with brown shells. Did you know some chickens may even lay eggs with blue or olive green shells? Eggshell color is determined by the breed of the hen and does not change the quality, taste, or nutrition of the egg. Our chickens live inside these barns. Living indoors protects the chickens from bad weather and predators like foxes. The barns also keep the birds healthy from diseases. Our farm uses conventional hen housing system, which is the most common. Other housing systems include enriched colony, cage-free, and free range. Each housing system has advantages and disadvantages. There are about 165,000 chickens on our farm. Some egg farmers are much smaller than ours. Some are bigger. The chickens come to our farm when they are about four months old. These are called pullets. They start laying eggs within a couple weeks after they arrive. Did you know the chickens on our farm lay about 140,000 eggs every single day? Most of the eggs are laid before noon every day. Chickens are sensitive to light, so they won't lay at night when it's dark. Iowa produces more eggs than any other state. Did you know that Iowa's large egg farms may have more than 5 million chickens? Medium-sized farms may have about 1 million chickens, and small farms like ours have less than 1 million chickens. Chickens lay eggs every day for over a year, then they take a break for about 6 weeks. During that time, their bodies rest and they build up strength. Then they begin laying eggs again. Now, some egg farms are non-commercial or hobby farms. This means that the farm is probably not big enough to provide a, a substantial part of the family's income. Our chickens live in groups of three or four or more. The groups stay together in cages. Inside the cages, there are water spigots for them to drink from. The groups of chickens develop a pecking order. Bigger and more aggressive birds can bully other birds. Living in smaller groups prevents pecking order issues and allows all birds to get enough food and water. Our chickens eat feed made from corn and soybeans. Four times a day, fresh feed is automatically brought to the chickens. Corn and soybeans are ground and mixed at a local co-op. Vitamins and other nutrients are added. The feed is designed by a veterinarian or a nutritionist to give the chickens exactly what they need. Now, limestone is mixed into the feed also. Limestone provides calcium to make thick, healthy eggshells. Limestone also helps break up the feed in the chicken's crop and gizzard. Computers control the equipment in our barn. Lights and fans keep the chickens comfortable. Did you know the chickens produce a lot of body heat, which keeps the barn warm and comfortable? Fans pull fresh, cool air through the barn as needed in the summer. Farmers use biosecurity to keep the chickens healthy. They always wear clean clothes and boots in the barns and limit the number of visitors. This prevents germs from making the birds sick. If the birds get ill, a veterinarian can pre prescribe medication to help them. We check on the chickens at least twice a day. We make sure the equipment is working correctly and we make sure the chickens are healthy. The floors of the cages are made out of wire. The waste from the chickens drops through the wire and onto a conveyor belt. Every hour, the conveyor belt is cleaned. This helps keep the cages, the birds, and the eggs clean. Manure is a chicken waste or poop that is collected underground. Later, it is spread on farm fields as fertilizer. 
Manure contains many nutrients plants need to grow. Each chicken lays about one egg per day. The cages are tilted so the eggs roll to their own conveyor belt. When the eggs are sorted and weighed, some farmers check the quality of the egg by holding it up to a bright light and looking inside. Did you know that eggs are sorted by weight? Bigger eggs are preferred. Eggs are sold by the case, about 30 dozen eggs. One case should weigh about 48 pounds. Candling is the technique used to look inside the egg and measure the air sac. Bigger eggs have smaller air sacs. In the past, the light used to look inside was a candle. We load our eggs on trucks and sell them to a food company. The eggs go to a plant where they are cracked and then they are used in recipes and foods like pancake mix. Eggs can be processed and sold in different ways. Shell eggs are whole eggs, like the kind you see in stores. Breakers eggs that are cracked and used by food manufacturers. Many eggs are sold in grocery stores for people to eat. Eggs can be eaten hard-boiled, cooked, scrambled, or fried. Did you know that many food companies will use eggs in a liquid or dried form? Eggs and cakes and cookies and other products provide the structure that holds them together. The fats from the egg also make it richer and taste better. Eggs can also be used in mayonnaise, noodles, creamy salad dressings, and sauces. My family and I eat a lot of eggs. They're a good source of protein. I need protein to grow strong if I want to become a wrestler, a police officer, or a farmer. Did you know that one egg provides about 70 calories and 6 grams of protein and other essential nutrients? Each egg has 13 essential vitamins and minerals. Now, here are the housing systems. There are many types of housing systems for chickens. Each type has advantages and disadvantages. One is conventional hen housing. This is the type of housing on Cole's family farm. Another is enriched colony housing. This is very similar to conventional hen housing, but the cages are larger. Cage-free housing is when the chickens live in barns, not in cages. And free-range housing, the chickens live in outdoors or have access to the outdoors.